the displacement of a mass by a spring is modeled by the function h of t equals eight sine six pi t, where h of t is measured in centimeters and t is measured in seconds. We want to find the amplitude, period, and frequency. So we have this mass on a spring that's moving up and down, where h of t, the displacement, would be zero at the equilibrium position. As the mass moves downward, h of t, the displacement, is positive, and if the mass is above the equilibrium position, the displacement would be negative. Before we solve this problem, though, let's review some vocabulary. Let's begin by emphasizing the meaning of the displacement. Displacement is a directed distance from a given point. So as an example, if we had a point that moved along this dark blue path, the length of the path would be the distance the point traveled, but the displacement would be the distance and direction given by this green vector here, the directed distance from the starting point. Period refers to the time it takes for one complete cycle. So in our case, the time it takes for the mass to start at the equilibrium position, move down, up, and back to the equilibrium position. So the period is a time quantity, and in this case, the period is going to be the number of seconds per cycle. And the frequency, which is the reciprocal of the period, refers to how many cycles per unit of time. So the frequency is a rate quantity, and in this case, the frequency is the number of cycles per second, also known as hertz. So going back to our example, if we were to graph h of t on the coordinate plane, where the x-axis is t and the y-axis is h of t, the displacement, notice how for this part of the curve, this represents when the displacement is positive or when the mass would be below the equilibrium position, which would be this part here. And then notice how this piece of the graph represents when the displacement is negative, which would be when the mass is above the equilibrium position or in this position here. And now to find the amplitude, period, and frequency, we'll use our notes here on the right. Let's go ahead and do this on the next slide. If we have a function in the form y equals a sine bt, the amplitude is equal to the absolute value of a, the period is equal to two pi divided by b, and the frequency is equal to b divided by two pi. So notice how looking at our function a, the coefficient of sine is equal to eight, and b, the coefficient of t is equal to six pi. So the amplitude is equal to the absolute value of a, which equals the absolute value of eight, which equals eight. So our amplitude is eight centimeters. Looking at the graph on the coordinate plane, notice how this is the distance from the midline to a maximum, or the distance from the midline to a minimum. But remember, this function is modeling the displacement of a mass on a spring, so going back to the spring, the amplitude represents the maximum displacement, which means the mass reaches a maximum distance of eight centimeters above and below the equilibrium position. Next, we want to find the period, which is equal to two pi divided by b. So the period, which again is equal to two pi divided by b, but in our case, b is equal to six pi, so we have two pi divided by six pi, which simplifies to one-third. So looking at the graph on the coordinate plane, this tells us the horizontal distance to make one complete cycle of the sine function here would be one-third or one-third of a second. So the period is one-third of a second. But going back to the mass on the spring, that tells us that the time it takes for the mass to start at the equilibrium position, move down to the lowest point, up to the highest point, and back to the equilibrium position would be one-third of a second. And then finally we're asked to find the frequency, which is equal to b divided by two pi, which is a reciprocal of the period, and since the period is equal to one-third, the frequency is a reciprocal of one-third, or three over one, or just three which means the frequency is three cycles per second, or three hertz, which should make sense 
if this sine function makes one complete cycle in one-third of a second, it would take three complete cycles every one second. We're going back to the mass on the spring. The mass would start here at the equilibrium position, move down to the lowest position, up to the highest position, and return to the equilibrium position three times every one second, which again should make sense if the period is one-third of a second. I hope you found this helpful.